We just demonstrated the horizontal adduction stretch for the right side piriformis deep lateral rotator musculature, wherein I pushed the client's thigh across her body into horizontal adduction. I actually prefer to stand on the opposite side from the side that I'm going to stretch. So Catherine is lying supine. I'm on her left side. I'm going to stretch again her right side piriformis musculature, but now instead of pushing her into adduction across her body, I'm going to pull her using my core. So I flex her hip and her knee joint. I pull her toward me, and then so that I can get my core involved in this, I'm going to use my armpit to go around her knee, like this. It's the armpit that is cephalad that is oriented toward the head of the client, not my left armpit, which is toward her foot end. I can now rest one hand here. The other hand, I can rest on the table here or grab the underside of the table for more support. And now all I need to do to do the stretch very effectively is drop down with body weight. Take a breath in. And just let it out. And bring you into the stretch. Take another breath in. And release the breath. And bring you over into the stretch. And take another breath in. And breathe out and relax. And I'll bring you over into horizontal adduction for the stretch. And relax, breathe normally. And certainly I have the option of changing the angle in which I move her thigh. I could angle more upward this way. That's pulling the thigh into horizontal adduction to stretch the right side piriformis. Very often, when we're performing the horizontal adduction stretch for the piriformis, what stops the stretch is not the tightness in the piriformis or other deep lateral rotators, but instead is a pinching or an obstruction discomfort on the part of the client in the anterior hip joint region. There are a number of reasons this might occur. One reason might be a tight hip flexor, such as psoas major or sartorius or TFL. Another might be that the capsular fibers of the hip joint are a bit taut. There are a few things that we can do to try and minimize the pinching in front so we can get a more effective stretch for the piriformis in back. When the client reports this discomfort in front, the first thing I do is I ease off the stretch and I bring the client's thigh into a circumduction motion with lateral rotation to loosen the capsular fibers of the hip joint. Then I traction a bit before I bring her over. I then perform the stretch and see if it's now possible to get the degree of range of motion of adduction, horizontal adduction of the thigh, to get the stretch for the piriformis. Very often this will work just doing those two maneuvers. If there's still a pinching in here, then what I can do is I can use both of my hands and I can brace, double support, finger pads on finger pads, and I reach into the hip flexor region and I find the tissue, and if it's possible to find the exact area of tissue where she reports the pinching, then I will traction that tissue and the entire femur away from the hip joint. And then, as I make space by tractioning, I will drop her thigh around that space that I make. Very often, by performing one, two, or all three of those maneuvers, we can eliminate the discomfort in front so we get a very efficient stretch for the piriformis and other deep lateral rotators in back.